Uh, this is the fourth take because I keep forgetting to turn the fans off and the fans coming loud and clear on the recording. So try it again. Okay, this is Tom's Real Room Show. And I th let's see, I'm Tom Styles, I think. Yeah, I'm Tom Styles. And this is show number 142. And this is a QSO dated, I think it's still 820. Yeah, it's still 820, 2013. And what I want to do in this show is give you an update on my little Bofang UV5R radio and tell you some more things I found out about it. Okay, the first thing I found out about it is if you push the monitor button, the LED light, a little LED flashlight comes on. Isn't that cool? And if you push it again, it's a flashing light. That's kind of cool. So, found that. The other thing I <laughs> remembered after the show before is that it also comes with a carrying strap, which I don't use carrying straps too much, especially on radios because a lot of times I'll stick this in my pocket. So it does come with a carrying strap. It's included. I forgot to mention it. So that's that. The other thing is I still haven't figured out a way of getting the backlight to come on while I'm in scanning mode and not disturb or stop the scanning. Because I like to put it in scanning mode and at night or outside in the dark or once in a while I like to have a backlight come on. But, and the backlight will come on if you push any key. But so far if I push any key it stops scanning which is not what I want it to do. So anybody knows how to Get the backlight to come on while it's scanning without interrupting the scan. Please leave a comment. Let me know. The other thing is, and I don't know if I mentioned it before in a previous video or not, is that there is another light here that if you haven't enabled the backlight to come on when you transmit and or it receives the station, if you've got that turned off to say battery power, this little LED will come on it's green when it's receiving, and it's red when you're transmitting, like that. So another nice little feature, it saves from having the backlight on to conserve power. So that's the things I've found out in addition about the radio. Oh, the other thing I've found out is that this radio is not really that hard to program. I found a video where the guy shows you how to program in a repeater, which you have to have the receive frequency, the transmit frequency, the offset. If it has a tone, you got to add a tone. Um, the offset was plus or minus. So you got to program those things in. He has shortened all those steps and he can program in a repeater within 50 seconds. And sure enough, there were the other videos I've seen and the other instructions of how to program in a repeater had extra steps that weren't necessary. And he's show you how to buy, forget those steps. So this radio is not that hard to program. If you know how, a little practice, and you'll be able to do it for in an under a minute. So I want to pass that on. The other thing I did a little experiment, I actually am still doing a little experiment, where, and that's why the scanner is here, <clears throat> I took one of my scanners and I looked up uh, on the website that has repeaters all listed in my area and I programmed in uh, about three quarters of all the repeaters within my location within 25 miles and I put it in this guy. Now this guy you can program it real quick. So I did that and I have already programmed in this guy, my uh, transceiver, uh, the three repeaters that people have told me are most active. So those are in there. So this will give me an indication of if there are other repeaters that are active that people didn't mention, you know, program those in this radio. And if this scanner is receiving better than the Bofang. So that's the experiment that's going on right now. The other thing is, from what I've read, the stock antenna that comes with the Bofang is mediocre at best in both 
reception and transmit. And the consensus is there's two antennas which people like the best and give you a lot better performance with this radio. One of them is eight and a half inches and one of them is about 14 and a half inches. Well, the 14 and a half inches gives you the best reception and transmitting uh, capability, but it's kind of unwieldy to have a 14 inch antenna on this small little radio. So I didn't opt to get that one, but I did order the shorter one, the eight and a half inch in antenna, and see if it improves things. Because I have uh, attempted, to, or I have contacted a couple of repeaters, and uh, depending on where I am in the house, it's margin at my location. And that repeater is about 15 miles away. So I'm curious to find out if that other antenna that's coming in from China um, is going to help things. Like a lot of people have mentioned that it did for them. So that's the, uh, the show for today. If you have any comments about this radio, uh, I really appreciate it. I'm still a novice when it comes to this radio, still learning it. Um, if you have a preferred antenna you like, or any preferred accessories, such as the speaker mic, uh, different batteries, things like that, please leave a comment or, or send me an email. I'd appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay.